when I came and met him, I was sort of taken aback. He's wearing a black beret and a leather jacket like Panthers. I didn't know he was a Panther himself. I don't want to say anything that doesn't sound good. I mean, he was, not that he was loud or anything, I mean, he was, wait, how would you describe Richard Aoki? Well, he, he wasn't the quiet type. People. Richard Aoki was not your typical Asian. Richard is not a person who has a lot of fears in his life. He kind of has this attitude like, um, I don't give a fuck kind of attitude. I have a reputation for being direct. Richard is a very strong member of Black Panther Party. Richard Aoki was sort of a legendary person. We heard about Richard Aoki. We heard about the fact that he had been in concentration camps and that he had guns and that he had made guns available to Huey very early on. He says, look, uh, Richard, uh, you have to let us have some of those guns. You have a lot of guns here. But Richard would come around and uh, donate weapons to the organization, you know. So he gave an M1 carbine and a 45. And it was all about us. We were going to patrol the police. Richard helped us teach the other brothers, the new young seven, eight, ten brothers in there, how to break these weapons down, how to clean the weapons. It's hard for me to relate to these sample questions that I was provided because some of the questions are beyond my purview. Who was on your original board of directors? I answered to a central committee. <laughs> Where did you get your initial funding? I can't comment on that. What obstacles did your organization have to overcome? The police. They kept impeding our progress. As Panthers would come in from the street, they would be talking about this guy, that uh, this drill sergeant that was, had him marching around doing slogans and in you know, the weapons training, and he was just like we were preparing for war. I do believe in mass action. <laughs> there are other methods of gaining what one wants for the community, but ultimately it comes down to um, power. You don't have any power, you don't have anything. If you have not won and you are still breathing, then that means you still have to fight. When I get to be 60 years old and I'm 70 years old, and if I'm still breathing, I'm gonna be still doing this. And I'm sure that's the way Richard feels. I know he does, you know. I talk to him, I, 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 it's, it's something that generates, I, it emanates from him. My personal position today is, we didn't lose in the 60s, we just didn't finish the job. I think we're dressed for the occasion. <laughs>